Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Benjamin and in today's lecture we shall be discussing taking the faith driven pathway to success. There is indeed a faith driven pathway to success and that is the only authentic way to success. Every other way will lead to woeful failure, mediocrity, frustration, unfulfilled dreams. But the faith-driven pathway to success will take you to success without any disappointment whatsoever. So that's what we are talking about in today's video. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because in this channel we upload series of videos that are of great interest and benefit to humanity. Let's get started with today's topic. Taking the faith driven pathway to success. And this video is centered around an ebook that I have published on Amazon.com entitled The Blueprint for Amazing Career Success. If you are interested in that book, then of course you can copy the link to Amazon here, paste it on any Google search engine, and it will take you to Amazon bookshelf, where you can get a copy of the book, The Blueprint for Amazing Career Success. Now, what we are discussing, the topic we are discussing in today's video is taken from one of the principles in chapter 8, and in chapter 8 alone, we discussed 18 principles of career success. This is one of them that will give you insight into what you are going to, going to gain from that book if you obtain the complete ebook. It will, it will be of very great help to you. So you can uh, use the, the, the link to Amazon. If you want to obtain a copy of the book directly from the author here in Nigeria, then of course you can write me through my email address, benjamininfo. 33 at gmail.com Benjamin Info 33 that is 33 at gmail.com Once you write to me requesting for a copy of the Blueprint for Amazing Career Success I will send a copy right into your email box. You can download it to your phone to your laptop, to your iPad or whatever electronic device you are using. It's downloadable quite easily. So let's get started. As Elia said, taking the faith-driven pathway to success. Let's get started with the key points. First of all, acting in faith at all times is the most effective way to succeed in whatever you are doing. Faith in God is the greatest force available to everyone who wants to achieve good success in life. Is that not true? I am a firm believer of genuine faith in God. Yes, that's the greatest force you need to succeed in life. Faith in God, in the almighty God who created heaven and earth, who is the commander-in-chief of the universe. There's nothing that beats faith in him. That's the greatest weapon. Remove faith and you start operating in doubt, fear, procrastination, idleness, and other kinds of negativity, which only hinder and paralyze human progress. That's actually true. Be sure of this. Once you start operating in faith rather than in doubt or fear, you will become action-oriented. That's one genuine thing about faith. It makes you action-oriented. It programs you for positive action. That's what faith is all about. This is self-evident because faith and action always go hand in hand. The latter is the product and evidence of the former. Yes, action is the product of genuine faith. Faith gives birth to action. When you truly believe in something, you will take action towards it. Yes, that's genuine faith. As the Holy Bible puts it, faith without action is dead. True faith expresses itself through positive actions. One great quality of faith uh, that guarantees its victory 
is that it always works by love. Wow, that's wonderful. Love never fails. Genuine love of God. Every other thing can fail, but this can never fail. So if you, are, you have the kind of faith operating by love, you are unbeatable. You are invincible. Your success is assured. This unique method of operation enables faith to concentrate on positive goals, avoiding all kinds of distractions since love never gets involved in any evil activity. That's the secret. Love, genuine love of God cannot be involved in any evil activity. It is written in the scriptures that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The double-minded man, that is a, a person without faith, lacks the capacity to concentrate on a positive goal. He is soon attracted and trapped by some of the many glittering traps set by the enemy whose aim is to divert people's attention from achieving good success. Is that not true? There are many promising young people, celebrities, world stars, whose destinies have been truncated and destroyed because of bad habits, addiction, addiction to drugs, addiction to marijuana smoking, addiction to alcohol, addiction to pornography, addiction to, to sex, addiction to so many things. And that ruins their life. Okay, let's continue. To be driven by faith is to start doing what you should do. And this is the most important requirement for success in all aspects of life. That is undeniable. Doing what you are supposed to do is the greatest requirement for faith. If you wake up in the morning and you are doing what you are supposed to do, success is achievable. Unless you take the right actions, your dreams and aspirations will turn into nightmares. You must always be driven by faith to swing into action at the appropriate time. It is in the process of practical steps that, you, uh, that your faith turns hope into substance and translates your ideas into tangible products and services. I've uploaded a video that is entitled Turning Your Ideas into Products. And that video also discusses another principle uh, that is contained in that book, The Blueprint for Amazing Career Success. You, you need to get back that book. It's really wonderful. It will be of tremendous help to you. It will open your eyes literally to the deep things of life. Let's continue. Knowing the right thing to do in order to succeed in life is not enough. According to the author of life himself, Jesus Christ, and I believe that, you know, I, I don't hide the fact that I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. He's the author and finisher of my faith. I've experienced his miracle in my life. I have experienced his, his life-changing touch his destiny-changing uh, touch in my life. And without him, we can do nothing. He's the only person who can tell you what to do. If you want to succeed, then listen to his word and do it. Because the words of Christ lay the foundation for a victorious life. If you hear the saints of Jesus and do them, you will be like a house built on a rock that cannot be pulled down by rain, by flood, by wind, by, by all kinds of torrents and all kinds of floods or wind beating vehemently upon it. It will remain unshakable because it's built upon the rock. And that is the words of Christ. So let's continue. According to the author of life uh, himself, that is Jesus Christ, if you know the right things, it is by doing them that you can achieve the right results and thus become happy or truly fulfilled. John 13, 17. He said, if you know these things, you will only be happy if you do them. And I always ask a question, what if you don't do them? Will you always re receive the same happiness? The answer is no. That happiness 
that comes from the fulfillment, the, the, the positive results, that happiness is only meant for those who take action. So that is what faith is all about. A farmer must do his own part in planting, watering, and weeding before expecting God to give the increase. Is that not true? Indisputable. Indisputable. If the farmer sits down in his house and says he is dreaming of a big harvest or that he is believing God for a bumper harvest without taking the necessary steps stated above, he will have no harvest at all. That's true. He will have no harvest because you will only harvest what you have planted. If you have not planted anything, you won't harvest anything. That's one of the laws of success. True faith follows due process and persistently continues in doing the needful in order to achieve the desirable. That's true. Hear the admonition of the scriptures. Be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hebrews 6.12 Yes, Abraham is one of them. Patience. It's an essential ingredient of faith. Persistence, perseverance, looking unto God and walking hard towards achieving your goal. That's very important. He said, don't be slothful. Slothful means lazy. But be followers of those who through faith and patience inherited the promises. It's through faith and patience you inherit the promises. You actualize your dream. There is no other way. You must realize that whatever is worth having is worth working for. You must also recognize that when it comes to achieving career success, nothing happens until you do something. That's true. You are the one who must take step in whatever field of human activity you want to pursue your career. You must be the one to take action and start working towards it. Otherwise, no, there will be no, no, nothing will happen. Good things do not come to those who fold their hands and wait. Good things come to those who go out and do what they are supposed to do in order to achieve the desired results. You must pray and work. You must also work and pray, knowing that man has his own part to play and God has his own part to play as well. The relationship between man and God is called a covenant. That's an agreement between two individuals. You do your own part, God will do his own part. You cannot expect God to do his own part and you don't do anything in your own part. It is clear in the scriptures that God has given his commandments to be obeyed and has made obedience and has made obedience to his commandments the preconditions for receiving his promises of blessings. Deuteronomy chapter 28. That book will enlighten you more about this. This is to say that you must avoid the fallacy of expecting God to do his own part, whereas you ignore your own part. Be conscious of the reality that God works through human instrumentality. That is true. God will work through you, not not apart from you, you know. He doesn't operate from outside. God operates from inside. Let's examine it. In Philippians 2.13, the Bible states, It is God who works in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It was in line with this reality that Paul made that great declaration in Philippians 4.13, saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it is dangerous to expect God to do wonders in your life when you fail to allow him to take full position in your life and start working through you. That's exactly true. You must give him chance to take position and be in authority in your life. Then he can start working inside you to give you victory. 
The scripture confirms in Ephesians 3.20 that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. That's true. Take note here that God does not work, uh, that God does his work rather through you. That is to say, according to the power he deposits inside you. Why do you think he created you in his own image? It's a question. Why do you think he said he will dwell in you and work in you? That is operate through you. 2 Corinthians 6, 16. That's food for thought. Why do you think he made all those statements? He wants to dwell in you. He wants to walk through you. Stop folding your hands, sitting in idleness, and believing falsely that God will throw his miracles at you. I'm a firm believer in miracles. They are authentic miracles. But they happen to those who take the action of faith. Faith without works is dead. Those who refuse to work and want to follow get rich quick and Ponzi schemes, gambling or betting games or any other shortcuts are getting it completely wrong. The way to good success, like the way to heaven, is narrow and requires hard work and self-discipline. Matthew 7, 13 to 14. He said there are two ways of life. The road to life is narrow. The one to destruction is very wide and many are following it. It's easier to do nothing than to do something. That's why majority are failures and only few succeed because only few take the pains to do what is necessary to achieve success. You must be driven by faith to always do what you should do, conscious of the assurance that it is God who is doing the work through you. You cannot sit down in idleness and keep on praying about something God has given you as a responsibility to do. That is very clear, you know. You must learn to rise from your praying closet and get into the field of work. It is in the place of work that God will meet you with the answers you requested for in the place of prayer. That's true. You know, many prayers that are not answered because, you know, people pray and they remain in their closet. But God will answer you as you take the step of faith. Always pray as if you have never worked or as if you can never work. Always work as if the work itself is in direct obedience to God who answers prayers. I'm a firm believer of prayers. I believe that prayer is essential to human survival and success. Because there's nothing we can do in this life without God's intervention. The Bible says that except the Lord build the house, the laborers, the laborers' efforts are in vain. And that is true. But you must, while you pray, you must listen to God as well and ensure you do what you are supposed to do to give God chance to really answer that prayer. This is what it means to be faith-driven and action-oriented. This is what it means to take the faith-driven pathway to success. That's exactly. That is how it has been in today's video, uh, taking the faith-driven pathway to success. We have looked at it. We have examined it. And I want to believe that you gained a thing or two from taking the faith-driven pathway to success. Don't forget that this video is centered around an e-book entitled The Blueprint for Amazing Career Success, which I have published on Amazon.com. I have shown you a link inserted in this video. When you get there, you stop and copy that link and paste on, um, on any Google search engine will take you to Amazon bookshelf where you will find that book, wonderful book, The Blueprint for Amazing Career Success. I've also told you that 
there's another video I have uploaded entitled Turning Your Ideas into Products. Another principle from that book, from the, amazing, from the Blueprint for Amazing Career Success. It's a wonderful book you need to have. If you want to obtain the copy from the author directly here in Nigeria, you can use my email address inserted there too and write to me requesting for a copy of the book. I will send you a copy into your email box. You can download it in your iPad, in your phone, in your laptop, whatever electronic device. It's an electronic copy of the book and it is downloadable once I send it into your email uh, box. So that's how it has been on today's video. I want to thank you for your time. And I want to say uh, continue learning because learning is, is essential to human survival and success in a bad world. Stay safe and remain blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that whenever a new video is uploaded, you will be instantly uh, notified. See you in the next video. Uh, remain blessed and bye for now.